Due to the illness of Rebecca Herbst, today the role of Elizabeth Weber will be played by Martha Madison. Elizabeth, did um, Dr. Somberg leave me the files on his uh, new HIV patient? Uh, yes. Right here. Thank you. Well, I see Emma's been busy in daycare. <laughs> Yes, she is going through the uh, whole express yourself through pasta phase right mm. now. Yes. <laughs> Clay was Jake's medium. He made me this lump once with like a peg in it for me to hang my keys on. <laughs> he must have seen me look for them every morning. You know what that kid lacked in creativity. He made up for an observation. I'm not sure if that's going to be possible. That's going to be a difficult procedure. I couldn't think of a better way to start the day. What about you, Elizabeth? I've got a high-grade glioma that needs to be done tomorrow morning. So if you're ready to get back in the OR, I'd love to have you on the team. Lucy, I'm home! Are you here, my little kitten of chaos? Or did you decide it's safer to run? Why would I do that? It's just starting. Thanks to me. You bring what I asked for? It's gonna hug you in all the right places. Mm. Just like I would. I used to make a point of dressing for Patrick. I suppose some things never change. Patient's in her 30s. She came in last week complaining yes. of... Yes. Uh... <laughs> I mean, yeah, thank you. I, I would love to get back into the OR. <laughs> that sounds good. We'll put it together. We'll put the pictures up and we'll take a look. Can we just hold that thought for... One second. Family conference. Okay, thank you, five. Okay, thank you, five. What's that all about? Do you really think it's a good idea to have Elizabeth in the OR? She's the best OR nurse I've ever had. Okay, but maybe she needs a little bit more time maybe after Maybe she training. needs to get back in the OR. What if she is there and something happens that she can't handle? She wouldn't have said yes if she wasn't ready, Robin. You don't think that I'm ready to get back into the OR because of my meltdown the other day. Steve, I walked into my house and saw all of my son's things in boxes. Like I wasn't supposed to think about him anymore. Like like an empty room was going to make me think Lizzie, of him any less. Lizzie, it's the fact that you forgot that you asked me to pack his things that bothers me. Okay, I'm sorry. You've been wonderful and supportive and I completely flipped out okay. on you. The first ten apologies were more than sufficient. I love you. I'm not judging you, but there's a lot of pressure in the OR. And that's the kind of place that you have to be completely detached and in total control. I understand that. And listen, I appreciate your concern. But the OR is where I feel like I'm in control. So be good for me. Okay? Okay, this should work just fine. I should get ready. You can go. Oh, I feel so used. <laughs> I suppose I should be grateful you're the one person in town who understands why I can't just slink away and let this all go. Listen to me. People who turn the other cheek are either fools or cowards. When somebody cuts you, you've got every right in the world to turn around and bleed them dry, especially when they humiliate you. Anger's food for some people. And revenge is dessert. <laughs> you make me feel sane. <laughs> I think your plan is not only sane, it's practical. Except, I haven't heard an exit strategy. Oh, don't worry about that. I figured out where I'm going and how I'm getting there. <laughs> I can't watch. Stop moving. I've sewn together lacerated nerves. I'm pretty sure I can finish this procedure. Uh, it tears. Robin, stop being dramatic. Okay, it's done. Well, I could have tied it myself. Uh, I'm sure you could have. If that was a thank you, obviously you don't know how much I get paid. I do, but thank you. Well, Emma would have been very upset if I came home and her creation was in pieces. Yeah, wish I could put everything back together that easily. Oh, come on. I think that we're doing great, considering everything. Lisa being gone doesn't hurt. Hey, can I talk to you too? Sure. Mm -hmm. Bottom line, it's your call if you really want Elizabeth in surgery tomorrow morning. I just need a break so she wouldn't see us talk. So you don't think she's ready? No, uh, she's been having a little bit of a hard time with Jake's death. She's having a It'd be weird if she wasn't. 
But she's getting better. Look how she handled that woman with the little boy that got hit by the car. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I found her in the conference room sobbing afterwards. She's been a little forgetful. You guys, why don't you just pull out the pitchforks and torches? Look, Patrick, she's maintaining, but is that what you want in the OR? She said she's good to go. Of course she's going to say that. You kind of put her on the spot. I think she's more fragile than she's letting on. I just think it's too soon for her to be put in a position where the slightest mistake Look, on her with part all due respect, be... Chief, you put a crazy woman back in the OR. I'm pretty sure you can cut your sister a little slack. Look, Chief, I have been in a lot of ORs with Elizabeth. I believe she can do this. Sometimes you don't get over the pain or, or the anger or the embarrassment. Sometimes you got to get back to work to forget all that crap. Am I right? That might work for you, but that doesn't work for everyone. She needs a chance, okay? She's not going to need it, but if she does, I'm in the room with her. We can work, trust each other. We're not going to let each other down. We're not going to let the patient down. All right, maybe you're right. I, I can't fight the two of you. All right, I've been pushing Elizabeth to make her life more normal, and what, what can be more normal than this, right? Okay, so if you want her on your team, I if want you're her sure on your team. you okay. Then I'll put her on the board, and I'll let her know she's in. Okay. Well, you're awful quiet. It usually means you have a lot to say. I do. I just don't think you want to hear it. Environmental service. Environmental service. Call 2714. Jeez. Sorry. My hand's cold? Yes. Mm. I'm a little jumpy, even though I really have no good reason to be. Oh, that's not exactly true. This has been messing with your head for a year. I love this bracelet <laughs> that Emma made she me. She did a good job. She did. She was hilarious last night with that spaghetti around her neck like it was a necklace. <laughs> I really can't imagine life without her. Where'd that come from? I was thinking about Elizabeth and having to go into the OR. If that was me and it was my child that died, I don't think I could do it. And I would want a friend to tell me well, so. You can't undermine Elizabeth as, as good as your intentions are. She, she's a friend of ours. She needs our support. I'm not. And I'm saying to you, even though you're supporting her, I mean, just let, don't let it be for the wrong reasons. And what reasons would those be? You are always wonderful and supportive. That's right, Elizabeth. I am always wonderful and supportive. But I'm wondering if you actually do need her skills in the OR or... Or what? It's out of guilt for not being able to save Jake. I'm always going to feel guilty about not being good enough to bring Jake through. It wasn't a matter of being good enough. No one could have saved him. It's not a good enough answer for me. We gave Jake the best possible care. That's what we give any patient. Which is why I want Elizabeth on my team. I believe in her self-awareness. Which is cloudy at best right now. Robin, Elizabeth feels guilty about what happened. I can understand that, but she needs to believe in herself again. Believe in her ability and her strength. And if the OR is the place where she's going to get that back, then I'm going to give her that chance. I respect Elizabeth. But I am going to put myself on the standby list to assist. And I want you to do everyone a favor and think about it. Please. You're that strongly about it? Yeah, I feel as strongly as you do. Then I'll think about it. And they say you don't know the meaning of the word compromise. We require assistance! What's wrong? Nothing. You, you would not have doubled over with barely a breath to speak if you did not require medical assistance. Okay, what happened? Nothing. I was working and I just felt a little cramping. Yeah, it was just not bode well for the possible stone Samantha miracle. Can you please, somebody, tell me what's going on here? You're pregnant? 